Hi everybody, welcome back to this playlist. So if you remember in our first video we introduced the game from my childhood, Deuteros, and the idea that we want to remake this but with my usual twist of making it a multiplayer online version. So if you watched the previous video you can see all the references we looked at for Deuteros, the videos to watch. This particular one here I don't know if I actually named it in the last video, but it's by an author called Kim Justice. And he presented this video of Deuteros and the prequel to it, which was Millennium 2.2. So that was in our first video. In this video, we're just going to install a few dependencies to that I know we're going to need going forward. Um, so I'm trying to keep these videos quite brief now and just do little bits at a time. So in this video, we're going to install a Laravel dependency called nested set and we're going to install tailwind as a uh, what's it called a style sheet uh, utility library in order to do our styling markup so let's get the nested set first of all uh, let's open up a new window and uh, let's see where are we so we go to um, where it is. C I know pub user us. There we go. So let's do a git bash here. So as I said in the previous video, if you're um, if you're on Mac you'll be using terminal or something like that. Or if you're on Linux. So uh, we want to uh, install a Laravel dependency. So that means we need to use composer so let's search for Kalnoi. This is the author of the package that we're going to be installing. So let's see what comes up here. So Kalnoi nested set, that I believe is the one that we want. So um, composer install, nope, composer require Kalnoi nested set. Okay. Now we can't add it to our model yet because we haven't created the model, so we'll do that in a future video. This video is just installing these dependencies. So the other dependency we want to install is the Tailwind library. So uh, to do that, we just need to make sure, uh, I need to have npm installed actually, I just need to make sure I've got that. Uh, yes, okay, that's fine. So we have, um, we have npm, Windows, npm install, Tailwind CSS, there we go. So there's a few other things we need to do with Tailwind which we can do. So we need to now add these three references. So we copy them. So what this is how I like to do it. If we go to the SAS folder, create a new file. Tailwind.scss. Okay, paste those three lines in there, save that. Uh, then go to the app and go to import. Ooh, actually before we do that, um, I'm not sure if we're gonna be using Vue.js, but it's always a good idea to maybe just import the, the front end that comes with it. Let's just do that. So uh, composer require require Laravel UI oh Laravel UI. So this just allows us to use the view library anyway, but it's more the the files that it creates for us. It just it's a convenience for us. So and you never know, we may end up using view. I've sort of got my eyes on something called alpine.js at the minute, but it's it's something I haven't really used yet, so I'm not sure if I want to use it here. Uh, we may end up using that, but for now I'm thinking Vue.js if for any small dropping components. Okay, so we've installed that. So let's now go to artisan uh, UI view. Oh, view. Okay. And now if we run artisan UI auth 
excellent so I think now that should have installed our boilerplate code which I was hoping for so let me close this file don't save and hopefully it's in created yeah there we go so it's created these files although it has got rid of our tailwind reference so let's just add that back in oh actually it's brought in bootstrap so let's uh, let's just overwrite this so import I think we can just do it as uh, tailwind okay so then we need to add it to our oh we need to create the config file so notice that this is an mpx file not an npm so if I just paste that mpx tailwind css in it that creates our config file and um, now we just need to find the uh, the one for Laravel mix this one yeah so now in our webpack file let's add that reference and then if we just copy from the options here so copy that and uh, just look long after the dot says yeah mix dot says so we can just go before the semicolon paste that and save okay and I think we're good to go oh just need to reference that so just to check our tailwind config file so that I think is tailwind so let's see if we can run a npm install on this so this may take a while so I may pause the video while this is running okay we're back so I just had to change the permissions on the node modules folder for, to match the parent folder I, I don't know why as I say Windows is not my speciality but it seems that when I copied the permissions down to the node modules folder and just propagated that through it I've run NPMI again and it seems to have worked so um, yeah as I say you, you probably won't have this problem on um, on Mac or Linux uh, I'll just see if I can fix this audit issue if not we'll, we'll leave I'm not going to spend any time on this no it didn't fix okay that's fine we'll look at that another time okay so that's pretty much all the known libraries for now that I want to install there may be some in the future that we'll look at depending on decisions we make and you know things that progress but for now this is good uh, I've got the libraries in place and we can start in the next video looking at actually starting to structure the models up and we've already touched on one today which is the body class which is going to be the one that manages the interstellar bodies and then we'll see what other ones we can do as well so thanks for watching if you uh, want to see more of this please subscribe and if you like the video up to now please click the like button it really is uh, useful to know that people are interested in this so uh, i do appreciate your feedback with that of course any comments you can put in the video as well um, other than that i look forward to seeing you in the next video